yeah, having the 300 energy, uh, maxing that out from the start, I do not regret it. We didn't get much durability at all in the first stages from health alone, because uh, we could have doubled our health and probably died in three or maybe four hits anyway without armor. But now that the armor scaling is kicking in and the health is getting increased both at the same time, it's just a whole another world of, world of durability compared to the start. It's a bit difficult to see right now because we are not fighting the ICPs at the moment. We are fighting all other kinds of enemies. And uh, the ICPs have certainly upgraded as well. They are bringing sequencers and shields to the game. To prevent component yeah. meltdown, surge suppression circuits must be opened. This is the area that's blocked off. And we have to go through here. Now, uh, this is a bit um, difficult. Wow, we are basically hovering on this platform. Some of the platforms are really not synchronized with player movement all too well. Uh, which means, like, for now, the platform is moving down, but we are not moving with it. We are barely moving with it. And I think we're going to have to jump here. Now, over here, and then wait for this to gently lower us. Some of the platforms are synchronized very well with player movements, others not so much. For example, this platform, a dream. We are just going up, no problem. Oh, and this platform we are phasing through and have to jump in order to prevent us from phasing through and falling to our doom. Wow. Well, we are falling to our doom regardless. Also, random question in between. Does anybody know what the spinning ball inside the LOLs uh, part that I would assume is the scope or the, the weapon uh, uh, is doing? Uh, well, actually, it's probably more like the uh, barrel of the gun. But it's kind of in the place where I would assume a scope to be. But apparently it's not a scope. Uh, it's the barrel of the gun. And there's a ball inside. Uh, that prevents the weapon from... Or, well, I don't know what to say about this. Oh. Yeah, that was fall damage. Fortunately, we had a save just now. I also don't think that fall damage is influenced by um, armor. Ow. Oh, uh, that was a bit of a floaty platform, and I just floated right off the top. Yeah, last time I was here, I also had a couple of problems related to me uh, being an absolute maniac and trying to wing it, even if we are taking damage. But it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, almost hovered right off the platform again. I probably... F okay, maybe not. Maybe this is the right way to go. And I think this is the platform that we need. Oh no, this is the platform that we need. Come on down. Yes. Another bit of fall damage, but nothing too bad. Okay. Component meltdown averted. Yes, component meltdown averted. Um, okay, this is what happens when you face through a platform. Just to show that. Now, this thing is rising and we basically have to jump at least once to prevent ourselves from phasing through the platform and going down. All the platforms are going up. Oh, fine, yes. I hate finders. Now this is the part where last time I had no energy left after destroying the finders. We have two more resource hawk programs here. But I really don't like fighting with discs. This is the lower partition archive of EN12-82. And here's a couple more emails and permission. 
or a couple of permission, uh, permission and uh, an email and a couple of subroutines. That was, uh, that's what I'm trying to say. This is from January 88 from Alan Bradley to Kevin Flynn about the lab AI development. I believe Laura and I has to have discovered a new logic matrix that will produce a 1,213% increase in simple numerical computations, as well as simulated reasoning. We are hoping to com uh, complete a prototype early this spring. Laura is currently calling the artificial intelligent Math Assistant 1. I, uh, yeah, I don't know if the name will stick. Only time will tell. Alan Bradley, Senior Programming Engineer. And we also have Corrode, but we don't have the energy for it. So we're going to have to pick up on energy first. And that seems to be the archive where the Tron Legacy code is being stored. We do have energy and a patch, uh, not a, well, an energy patch routine. And we also can probably access this from here. Oh, that was a bunch of weird jumping on my part. Definitely want that uh, code optimization where. We are 60% through the level of through our current version. Now, what does, gives us our biggest increase? We have 2% here and 3% here and 3% here. So I think I'm going for the uh, support safeguard. It's not as powerful as the submass, but we got the submass first. So I reason or reckon that uh, we will also get the... Uh, oh, I forgot to port this. That we will also, if we are getting a gold uh, version of armor, we are probably going to get a gold submask first. At least before a support safeguard. Now the last build node should be right over here. Yes, it is. And then we only have, oh yeah, we have the corrode. Oh, I forgot to show, I believe, what that was. Uh, corrode, here it is. It's an alpha right now, uses uh, base, uh, the base energy use is variable, uh, adds additional corrosive damage to weapons. An alpha, it corrodes 5 seconds for an additional 50% energy in use. In beta, it's 10 seconds for an additional 100% energy use. And in gold, it's 15 seconds for 200% energy use. So this thing, I think it's downright impossible to reasonably use it. Um, without having the uh, correct amount of energy and uh, weapon efficiency. Because I'm pretty sure that even with maxed out energy. Like this thing takes I believe 16. No it takes 20 energy by now per shot. If we throw in a gold corrode. Each shot is going to cost us 40 energy. I mean it would probably kill just about anything in one shot. But it would most certainly reduce the energy uh, that we have to shoot or the, the amount of shots we can get out of our energy by a ton. Okay, let's get through here. We have another permission down here, permission number three. And another email. Were there any other emails that I missed? I would have to check. So this is from March 88 from Alan Bradley to Kevin Flynn about the lab AI development. I apologize, apologize for having to postpone the presentation. Laura uh, discovered a rather significant memory leak in Math Assistant 1's new voice recognition subprograms. The good news is Math Assistant 1 Audio, or Maya as we now call it, now recognizes over 64 common verbal commands without crashing the vocoder buffer. Maya should, pro uh, should prove to be a useful companion in many research laboratory applications. Please inform the board that I do plan on making the 2 p.m. presentation scheduled tomorrow. Alan Bradley, Senior Programming Engineer. And uh, apparently, Mefria is the uh, third uh, version of the Math Assistant Audio. Or Math Assistant 3 Audio. So the name did stick in the end, and uh, that is the Mephria that we are talking about right now, that we are uh, trying to... Uh, uh, what are we exactly trying to do? At this point, what we are trying to do is get back to reality. The The original objective of uh, Mephria was to get saved from the corruption, which I guess we have more or less. But now uh, we are trying to get the... the archive entrance. 
But now we are trying to get the Tron Legacy code. And I think at this point it's a bit hard for me to articulate exactly what we are trying to do. I mean, uh, NCOM has been taken over. Uh, that ship has sailed. We're not going to prevent that. They already have exchanged the uh, leadership. Uh, what uh, we should be doing, if we are the noble character, uh, we should be probably doing something about the data rate program that FCON has been undertaken. Uh, evidently for quite a while, because uh, training all these data rates is not something that they could have done within a couple of days. And um, we are apparently getting our hands on the Tron Legacy code to do that. My friends are in there. Let me through. Sorry, this site has been designated a historical archive. Access is restricted. Can you make an exception? It's important. I'm afraid not. Quick, name the seventh even prime number. I... I can't figure... Unable to... That was Eva, but I approve. <laughs> Alright. That's the Tron Legacy Code? It sure is, stranger. Beautiful, isn't it? Why isn't it moving? Isn't it alive? The code is not compiled. Jet, grab the legacy code. The system is becoming increasingly unstable. Yeah, we have noticed. There's energy. Uh, no, I have patrotine and also energy here. Here we go. I did check in the last time back here. There's nothing. Now, the Tron legacy code kind of looks like a disk. At the moment, at least. Come with us, I know. I can't, stranger. There's no place in the future for an old program like me. I'd be swallowed up and derezzed before I could spit out my first routine. This place... There's not much time left. Yes, but it's my home. A place that I know. All right. Thanks for your help, I know. I won't forget you. See that you don't. Mathria, where are we going? The net. 